Right then, this is now my Japan Prize Fighter quarter finals review now for you guys. And yes, what a show it was with some fantastic fights on the card. Four very, very just four bangers, really, to be fair. None of like none of the four fights disappointed. None of them at all. Very good performances from the winners. Uh so yeah, the first fight that we had was Kieran Conway versus uh Lejati. Um Good stuff there from Kim, uh, from Kieran Conway. Managed to get Lejati out of there in the seventh round. Just a great, just a great all round masterclass there from Kim and Con uh, from uh, Kieran Conway. Conway stuck behind his jab really, really well throughout the fight. Just looked really strong behind it. To be fair, good jabs to the body, good jabs up top, and was just able to mix in some big hooks as well. Just completely took Yelaz uh, uh, to school. Um, Yilaz, uh, Yil I can't say his play name. Yilaz Jassi started very well for the first two rounds. I think he came out quite strong, uh, landing some good shots on Conway, and I feel like he arguably could have took the two. Other than that, though, Conway just came out and just scored him, scored him basically, uh, just with that jab. He's just a masterclass, basically. He was just able just to tee off on him. We saw some good, solid triple, qu uh, quadruple jabs as well from. Kieran Conway. It was unbelievable. It was an unbelievable performance from him, mixing some great shots to the body as well. Good shots up top. Just an all-round fantastic performance. The way he's putting his shots together, he's very accurate, very quick with his shots as well. Very smart with his work. Is a very good performance there from Kieran Conway, and a very well-deserved win. It's going to be interesting to see how he uh, does with uh, Aaron McKenna going into that semi-final fight. It'll be interesting to see. But Kieran Conway was fantastic tonight. Didn't really put a foot wrong. He just warmed his fight. He just warmed his way into the fight and just got better and better as the rounds went on and eventually got the very well, well and just got a very well, well-deserved stoppage, basically. And arguably could have got like before uh, performance of the night overall, to be fair. I thought it was a very good, decisive win from Conway. No questions about it. Wasn't close. And was just won basically every round and was able to get Yellow you know, Jassy out of there. And yeah, good performance from him. Did exactly what had to be done. Fair play to Conway. Um, next up, we of course did get Aaron McKenna in there, of course, against uh, Estella. Very good fight overall as well. I mean, you know, people were saying it was going to be a close fight, but. Aaron McKenna just walked him down, brutally beat him down, basically. Estella showed great heart and was trying to come back with some good counter shots at times. But Aaron McKenna was just unbelievable, to be fair. Just completely beat him up, walked him down, just got him up against the ropes, just completely beat him down with massive shots. Aaron McKenna is quite big for the division as well, to be fair. I mean, he has ridiculous power, a great chin as well. Takes, you know, took some big shots from Estella. Didn't bother him and just continued to walk him down. Aaron McKenna literally did not take a backward step throughout the fight. Won every single round, in my opinion, and got a great stoppage in the last round. Uh, Estella would have been gutted could he because he obviously would have wanted to take half of that 100k bonus. But no, fair play to Aaron McKenna. 100% deserved the stoppage. And I thought the ref was absolutely awful, by the way. Estella should have been out of there ages ago. And that's that's not uh, McKenna's fault either. And Estella showed great heart and a great chin because somehow the bloke was still standing. But the ref should have stopped that earlier because, you know, that's, that's how you get CTE, basically, with what uh, with what Aaron McKenna was doing there to Estella. Uh, the ref should have stopped that earlier because he, he was putting on a real dangerous big beat down on Estella. And Estella was just taking massive shots throughout. Could have given him, could have bloody given him CTE. Just honestly, a beat down. Unbelievable stuff. He's so durable, Aaron McKenna. He's absolutely unbelievable, in my opinion. And he's definitely a big contender to win this whole competition. But yeah, ref should have stopped it way earlier. I've seen many others complaining about that as well. But yeah, should have been stopped before the 10th round. Going late into the final minute of the 10th round. Unbelievable how it went that far, in my opinion. Should have been stopped earlier. But fair play to Estella. He's got a great chin and great heart. Big respect to him. But yeah, all great, great, great performance from McKenna. And he 100% deserves that 100k bonus after that performance. And again, him and Conway put on the two best performances overall. And I thought Kani Motto was good as well. We'll get to that. But obviously, he, he beats a man who he's already beaten before. Anyway, next up, we got Mark Dickinson versus Tate Sacco. Good fight overall, to be fair. This one was very close. The scorecard, once again, for another fight, were ridiculously wide. How were they this wide? So, one judge scored at 96 to 94, uh, which is fair. The other 
two judges scored at 97 to 93 and 98 to 92. How can you only give Dickinson two rounds? Like, you know, I knew as soon as it was a close decision, they're going to give it to Tate Zachary's the home man. Of course, they're going to give it to him. But at the end of the day, it was a close fight. I saw many people having Dickinson winning. I've seen people who had Tate Sacco winning. I personally scored it a draw 95 to 95. I thought it was very close. Tate Sacco really came on really late on in that fight. I thought Dickinson was good early on. But it's like Dickinson was slugging his hat with Tate Sacco for quite a bit in that fight. Then eventually he went to trying to outbox Tate Sacco. And that's where Dickinson just... It's where it just fell apart for him because he was trying to box our box take Sacco, but take Sacco was just able to to get the best, better work. And when Dickinson was trying to do that, it's like he just completely, Dickinson completely changed his game. He suddenly started to try and box a move after trying to slug it out. And Dickinson was getting the better of the majority of the, of, of he was getting better of the majority of the exchanges when they were going at it uh, in the exchanges uh, up close when they were slugging it out. And then Dickinson decided to box a move. But you won't get that, you know, he barely got any success there. And Tate Sacco was able to take over, land the quicker shots. I mean, Tate Sacco throughout wasn't really landing the most impactful shots, Dickinson was. But Tate Sacco in the end was able to outwork uh, Dickinson. And that's all that mattered in the end. Uh, I mean, Dickinson got the better of a few flurries later on, but he was just getting outworked. Though. That's the thing. So Tate Sacco won those later rounds, 100%. Anyway, then we get to that main event. We, of course, got um, a good main event with Kani Motto versus Carney. Great performance by Kani Motto. Obviously, yeah, he's beaten Carney before, of course. But it, it was a good fight overall. It was a good, good, good fight from, um, I mean, you know, for the first two rounds, Kani Motto was just coming at Carney like an absolute steam train beating him up massively, walking him down, had him up against those ropes, landing some good shots. The straight right hand from Kani Mosso was absolutely bloody deadly. But we also saw Kani just stand in front of Kani Mosso and cover up. And it's like, I was thinking it a bit in that fight. It's like, is Kani just there to try and take the 50K and try and just cruise to a this, try and just go to a decision with Kani Mosso? Because it's like, I don't really think Kani believed he was going to win that fight. I could just tell by how he... I could just tell by how he approached it. That's the thing. But Kani Moto just did his thing and just punished him in the end, to be fair. Won every single round. Kani did come back a bit and, you know, get the better of the odd exchange. But Kani Moto was still winning every single round. And Kani, and Kani was just there just to defend, really, that whole fight. Simple as that. He was just there defending himself. And nothing, not a load was coming back from him. The odd stuff was. But Kani Moto was, you know, putting in the majority of the work and, you know... He, he, was, he was eventually able to get Kani out of there. And Kani was difficult to get out of there. Kani Mosso could have done it earlier. But it's just that Kani was just only there to defend, which made it really difficult for Kani Mosso to get him out of there. But a real promising performance from him. The right hands are deadly. Kani Mosso was really good with that lead hand as well. Keeping, trying to keep Kani at mid-range or at bay and just tee off on him with some big brutal body shots. Then going up top, putting shots together really well. Accuracy really good. Got good speed in his shots. A hitch ridiculously bloody hard as well. Unbelievable stuff from Kani Motto. I think he beats Tate Sacco in the in the semi-finals, and I think uh, McKenna beats Conway. But that's a really interesting fight. But yeah, they all are. Semi-finals are going to be really exciting, in my opinion. What a show it was. I'd give performance of the night to Aaron McKenna, but. Again, though, we saw some we saw some great performances. I was really surprised that throughout the four fights we got with the hard hitters in there, the quick punches in there, we didn't actually see any knockdowns, which was really surprising. But it just shows the heart and toughness of all of them. And the semi-finals going to be so interesting. We got four great fighters in the semi-finals where, honestly, it, it, we've got a good selection of possible winners. To be fair, it's going to be interesting to see who wins. Anyway, I'm going. I'm going to win this video here. Thanks for watching this video, King. I'll speak to you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.